Good morning and thank you for attending this presentation and wanting to know more about India and EBTC. I would like to thank the organizers, Claudia Pereira in particular, for inviting EBTC to present today to you at this Asia Day presentation. My name is Joel Fernandez and I am the Regional Director for the European Business and Technology Center in Mumbai, India. EBTC is your gateway to the Indian clean tech market. But before I even start my presentation on EBTC and on India, I just want to thank you for your time and thank you for your interest in wanting to understand India, which is my country. Today, I would like for you to know more about the European Business and Technology Center. I will share with you why you should be looking at India and why the timing is right for you to enter the Indian market. I will also share with you a few opportunities and trends in the sectors that we work in, share with you how do you find that project and how do you find that partner when you are looking at India. I will also share with you some success stories that EBTC has had in the past few years that it has been in existence and how to create your success story. EBTC has been in India since 2008. We have four offices in New Delhi, in Mumbai, in Calcutta and in Bangalore. We focus on four sectors, biotechnology, energy, environment and transport. EBTC is the only center dedicated to promoting clean technologies in India. So why India? Why are we spending this time together? India is the largest democracy in the world. We have a population of close to 1.24 billion people. And in terms of demographics, we have 65% of our population less than the age of 35. We are also have a rising middle class, which is leading to this demand for products, for technology. We also have a new government since May 2014, which is focusing on economic reforms, which is focusing on development, which is focusing on renewable energies. Some of our challenges that are existing in India is the need for power, is the need for energy. 85% of the population of India in the rural areas do not even have access to energy. In terms of the clean tech market, we are looking at a hundred billion dollar market by 2020, where by creating 10.5 million jobs. We have a new government since May 2014. The present GDP of India is close to around 7.2 percent. We had Christine Lagarde visit India, who is the chair of the in International Monetary Fund, and she said India is a sweet spot in a gloomy economy. She said that India will close at 7.5 percent GDP in the fiscal year of 2015 and 2016. The present government that is focusing on, social, on economic reforms and social reforms has started a Make in India campaign. This Make in India campaign urges companies like you to manufacture in India. If India needs to meet these figures of 7.2 or 7.5 percent GDP, it has to have manufacturing, it has to have your investments, it has to have international investments in India, foreign direct investments are crucial for us in India to meet these numbers. In terms of renewable energy attractiveness, Ernst & Young publishes a report twice a year. India as of today ranks fifth on a global scale. Global CEOs are all looking at India. Carl Slime from General Motors India says, we cannot remain a global industry leader without a strong presence in India. Oli Pekka, the ex-CEO and president of Nokia, he says, India today is not an emerging economy. It has fully emerged 
and it is in full bloom. Let me share with you some key facts between EU and India trade relations. Between 2002 to 2013, close to around 155 billion euros was invested in India. If you look at this slide that and the top three countries being UK, Germany and France, close to around 64 percent of investments were only from, from these three countries. I recently checked with a few Indian companies and I asked them, where would you like to invest if you are looking outside of India? The first country that they all talk about is the UK. The British ruled India for the longest time and I think that's created some kind of affinity between both countries. A few clean tech companies that are present in India. We have a lot of Scandinavian companies in India. For example, if you look at Poiri or Vatsala from Finland, we have Organica from Budapest or Hungary, and we also have Tekis, which is a Finnish company. Let me share with you the opportunities and trends in the sectors that we at EBTC focus on. In terms of energy opportunities, the government of India has declared that it would like to increase the megawatt capacity in solar energy from 2.5 megawatts to 100 gigawatts by 2020. In terms of wind energy, the, the government of India would like to increase its capacity to 60 gigawatts by 2020. In terms of environment sector opportunities, India in its urban areas generated close to around 185,000 tons of solid waste. In terms of clean air, India has 27 cities in the top 100 most polluted cities in the world. So if you are a company or you have contacts or friends that are into companies that are into air purification, this is a huge opportunity for you to come to India. Let me share with you some transport opportunities. In terms of transport opportunities, electric vehicles is one of this huge opportunity right now in India. The government of India is pushing for auto companies, for bus companies, for transport organizations to focus on electric In terms vehicles. of intelligent transport systems, India is now a huge opportunity. The government of India has allocated close to around 1.6 million euros for intelligent transport systems, only to create that framework in this sector. Let me share with you some opportunities in the biotechnology sector. In terms of biopharma and bioservices, there is immense opportunities. However, this is a new sector or a horizon sector in India. And if you require more information, you are free to contact me and I will share with you more detailed opportunities that exist. So how do you find that project opportunity? If you get onto the EBTC website, we have close to around 146 project opportunities, which are live opportunities waiting for you. So how do you find those project opportunities? If you visit the EBTC website, you will see a link which is project opportunities. You click on the project opportunities. It opens up to a page which gives you a project reference. You click on the project reference number and you get more information on, those, on the project. You send me an email at fernandes at ebtc.eu or projects at ebtc.eu and we will share with you more information on the projects who you should be contacting. We can also set up a call between you and the company. EBTC is also the nodal point of contact for the European Enterprise Network. Let me share with you some of our services. EBTC can help you explore, adapt, grow and protect your businesses. How can we help you explore India? We can help you understand the Indian market through the reports that we generate periodically or we can help you showcase your technologies on the eTech platform. The European Technology Experience Center platform helps you showcase your technologies in advance of your arrival to India. So all we say is you put your technologies 
onto the platform, you publish your technologies, you upload your technologies, and we will recruit the Indian companies who will then view your technologies. And if they are interested, we will set up a call and you can discuss with the Indian companies virtually. If there is interest, then you can look at coming to India. EBTC can also help you adapt your technologies. Remember what works in Europe need not necessarily work in India. You would need to adapt your technologies. You would need to tweak your technologies. We can put you in touch with the right institutions in India or in Europe who can advise you on what needs to be customized or adapted. We can help you grow your business. EBTC can help you establish your business in India or we can help you raise capital. Finance has been the biggest challenge for companies when it comes to internationalization. EBTC has helped solve that We have that started problem. the EBTC Investor Circle where we introduce your companies to global investors who would then be interested in funding your company. We can also help you protect your business. EBTC can help you file your patents in India. Let me share with you some of our success stories. CL Ether is a company from France that was looking at India in a big way. They wanted EBTC to help them understand the Indian market as well as to find a partner. Acquiring land in India can be very challenging and so CL Ether thought of a very innovative plan. They built a solar panel which can float on water bodies. They, can, they looked at India because India has a lot of water bodies, it has a lot of rivers and lakes and so they float these solar panels in the eastern part of India and today EBTC has helped them find that partner in India and today they are able to generate electricity or energy for small towns in the eastern part of the country. Rafako is another company that EBTC helped, which is a company from Poland. EBTC introduced Rafako to Hurry Machines, which is a company based in Calcutta. And today, the company Rafako is manufacturing its boilers in India. Let me share with you another very interesting success story for EBTC, which is AquaQ. AquaQ is a water monitoring device company. They came to India in 2012 wanting to try and test this product or their technologies in India. What we found out was that the water monitoring device could not detect close to around 90 percent of the bacteria that exist in the Indian waters. So what EBTC did was introduce them to a research organization in India and a research organization in Sweden where the research organizations discussed on what should be adapted to this technology. We also introduced them to an Indian company which was willing to pilot this new technology and the new adaptation and today we are able also to help them find another company who is willing to distribute this technology in India. AquaQ has now approached EBTC to help them raise capital in India. How do you create your success story? With the European Technology and Experience Center, eTech, with this platform, you can showcase your profile virtually to the Indian companies. EBTC will recruit and invite the Indian companies to view your technologies on the platform and if there is an interest, we will set up a call between you and the Indian company. If there is a further interest, then we would wish for you to come to India. This makes it a very cost effective platform for you to showcase your technologies to the Indian market. So how do you do that? You would need to visit the EBTC Investor Circle section on the EBTC website and upload your profile. Uploading your profile is absolutely free of cost. Once your information has been uploaded, EBTC with 
a group of select investors will verify your details, will verify your business plan, will understand more about how much funding you require and then we will ha help you pitch to the global investors. EBTC has recently launched an e-learning module where European SMEs can better understand the Indian market. We call this module or this tool the doing business in India. A few points for you to consider when entering the Indian market. Ensure you have a strong value proposition. You can do that by doing, uh, carrying out a feasibility study which EVTC can do for you. Second being, you need to set long term goals. If you come to India with a short term strategy between two to three years, I do not think you are going to find success. You need to look long term, five to ten years is minimum what you should be looking at when you are looking at entering India. It is also very important to find the right partner. EBTC can help you find the right partner by doing the due diligence on the Indian company so that tomorrow when you are in India, you do not have any issues in that partnership. Lastly, which is very, very important, you need to adapt your product and technologies for India. Remember, like I said earlier, what works in Europe need not necessarily work in India and EBTC can help you adapt your technologies for India. Anchor, I'm waiting for you in an office on the fourth floor. Where are you? I'm coming, sir. Just coming. So much traffic. I will call you once I reach your office. How much longer will that be? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be on time. Should be there in less than five minutes. Okay. Come in. Ah, hello. I've been waiting a long time. Hello, uh, I'm Peter Anderson. Oh, I wasn't expecting you. Um, uh, I'd better get another chair. Um, so now we have less time. Can we go quickly through the documents? Sure, sir. The documents are ready for you. Yesterday we worked till late to complete those documents. And after that, you know, due to traffic jams, due to this merry season, it took me two hours after that to reach my home. Were you stuck in a traffic jam? Anka, we need to get our discussion going. It's already past 1 p.m. I have a lunch appointment and another meeting after that. <coughs> Hello. Huh. Mishraji, I'm sorry. Yes, I know. We are meeting at 1.30. Uh, can we make it at 3 o'clock? No, no, Mishraji. Our partner, our future partner. It's come from London. Uh, I need some time. Uh, you know, this discussions, uh, documents, it takes some time. Uh, three o'clock I'll come. Yes, yes, positively. I'll be there. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. We are very busy these days. Lots of visitors, many trade inquiries for our pain. This is bank's document. Very important. This one is our new product information. This is also about our manufacturing facility. Recently, we have invested 5 million for our packaging line. This file is for that. We have upgraded the packaging line. Hello, urgent meeting now. I will call you later. Ah, please wait. Okay, okay. Sir, can we have some tea, please? Neha, can we have three cups of tea, please? Thank you. I really need to get on with this. I'm due for a meeting with a gentleman who's got contacts at the Pollution Board. I'm hoping he will sort out a meeting with the Minister. And to get this meeting has been really hard. Minister of Environment? Oh, for your new plant? 
I'll introduce you to Mr. Ram Raju. I can get that meeting fixed. What do you mean? You know Mr. Ram Raju? You can get me an appointment? Sir, it is done. Last year I arranged a big deal for him with a multinational company. So he will meet you whenever I tell him to. Just a minute. Rakesh, how are you? Listen, I have a business partner from London. He wants to meet Mr. Rama Raju. Oh yes. Oh no problem. We'll go to him with you. 4 p.m. tomorrow. 4 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, yes, 4 p.m. confirmed. Yes. Mr. Anderson. Peter Anderson. Thank you. Anka, I am amazed. I've been trying to meet Mr. Ramaraju for ages and you fix a meeting just like that. Brilliant. Thanks very much. No problem, sir. Anything for you. It is almost 1.30. You must be getting late for your lunch appointment. Tomorrow I'll come and pick you up. We'll go to Mr. Ramaraju's office. It's a long drive. That way we'll have an extra half an hour for discussing pending matters. We'll finish those things there. Of course, why not? And thank you for the meeting. Also, sir, tomorrow is my niece's wedding. We'll be pleased if you can find some time. <laughs> that way you'll be able to see an Indian wedding. It's a small family gathering. Only 700 people, sir. We have not called everyone. Thank you, Anka. That's very kind of you. But how can I join a, a family wedding? Why, sir? You are our guest. You are like family now. Please come. We will be very happy. Thank you very much, Mr. Anderson, for the meeting. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> and by the way, my name is Ankur and not Anchor. <laughs> to connect with us, you can connect with us on all the social media platforms, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Twitter, or whether it's LinkedIn. Thank you very much for your attention and for listening to me. That's my email address. If in case you would like to get in touch with me, you can send me an email at fernandes at ebtc.eu.